the, and, and the media. All right, take a listen to this. These so-called journalists not just going after Trump, they're targeting his nominees too. Check this out. Disgusting and racist comment about the family of Jeff Sessions. An MTV writer mocks his Asian granddaughter at his confirmation hearing this week, saying he should, quote, return the Asian baby to Toys R Us where he stole her from. Staying with you, Rachel, the irony is the left calls Sessions the racist. <laughs> This is absolutely outrageous. And remember, this was MTV who, you know, just a couple of weeks ago was giving us lectures on, on white privilege. Um, they are, they are, they're, 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 it's such a selective outrage. Where are all the people on the left? A few people have come out to their credit um, and, and told him he should get off of Twitter. He absolutely should. But MTV should fire this man. This is absolutely outrageous and flies in the face of all the multiculturalism and, and tolerance that MTV purports to be advancing. Mercedes, were you shocked by that, that comment as well? No, I'm not anymore. I, we have to be real here, Eric. I mean, MTV is no news organization. It's like BuzzFeed. I mean, they try to just make that splashy headline and make these outrageous comments. They can't be taken seriously. I mean, these guys are trying to just uh, try to target these younger uh, demographics. It's not working. I think at the end, they just got to be ignored. I mean, it's just... I'm, I'm, it's, it's a, I don't know, uh, uh, Mercy. I think if, if someone had said that about someone on the left, about, oh, about, no. about the, the, that, the family of uh, the Obamas, absolutely. they, they would left would be going apoplectic about how racist oh, of a comment that was. Uh, let me bring Jean in. Yeah, well, you know, Eric, this is my thing. I, I am shocked, but I'm not shocked that they said it. I'm shocked because I never hear anyone on the right, even in the most closed circles, ever say anything of the sort. This is the talk of the left. I've even heard this from people on the left. Sorry, Juan, not you, but, uh, but others. And, and, I, and I can say to you that I hope they just keep rattling their mouths because it is exposing who they actually are. And it also exposes a true gentleman like Senator Sessions, what, what the depth of his humility and the depth of his self-control is and exactly why he should be confirmed. All right, so Juan, let's stay with let's stay with the comment, the MTV comment. Yeah, B terrible, right? I mean, you, oh, you I, have to I, condemn it. I don't like it at all. I mean, you know, I, I have multiracial grandchildren. I've had people ask me, well, how can their names be Pepper and Wesley? Like, oh, like a black kid, or in this case, a multiracial kid can't have that name. It's a white name. I think it's so racist, so ridiculous. And in this case, this was a tweet from an MTV writer. So I don't know that we should blame. MTV. They said that his opinion does not reflect their opinion, but I agree with all of you. I think it is over the top. Let me just quickly add on the race but, front. But that Juan, when but I heard, Juan, that, when it, I heard Juan, Mercedes, hang on, Mercedes, when I heard you say, oh, Donald Trump hasn't done anything racist, and they say, oh, Ben Smith and BuzzFeed said he could be called racist, I heard Paul Ryan, the Speaker of the House, now one of the, the new president-elect's uh, best allies, say that his behavior in the past was the definition of racism. That, uh, look, Paul Ryan is not part of a news organization. I, I'm talking about plain, simple journalism. This is about well, reporting the news. Right. This is an editor of, a, of a, what he, he con they consider a news site saying, you guys are, it's all fair game. You can call him a racist. Well, I just don't, it just doesn't fit. You, mean, you, what wouldn't, I you wouldn't, wouldn't do report on what Paul Ryan responded to. It is the obsession. Well, guys, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It, it speaks. I want Juan to react. Go ahead. Juan, it speaks to the obsession. Well, I was just going to say, I don't, I mean, Paul Ryan said that. I mean, to me, you know, for Donald Trump to jump up and scream about the fake news and BuzzFeed and all the rest, uh, you know, his behavior, he's the guy that started the birther movement. Remember that? that talk about fake news. And everybody reported on it and followed it for months. All right, let's get Gene in. The, the, I would that just was say the bottom line is this. Every... Every nominee, every nominee brings their family with them to these confirmation hearings. And what this quote does, it exposes the obsession on the left with race and, and, and their willingness to even hurt um, in order to make their political point. All right, let me, Gina, wrap it up. We've got to go quickly. Your thoughts, yeah, final yeah, thoughts. Yeah. Well, I do think that I do think that uh, race is something that is used as a weapon by the left, and I think that people on the right really do look at content of character, and that's where their focus is, and that's where it's always been, and I think that's where President-elect Trump's focus has always been as well. And it's so funny how they never want to look at the good record of things that people have done on the right, but they always want to focus in on one word and twist it and repeat the lie over and over again. It's Alinsky. Sorry, Juan, I got to cut it off right there. I know you have a lot to react to, but.